If you like this content, please help it trend. Subscribe, leave a like, a comment. Check me out on all my other social media platforms. It helps me trend more than you'll ever know. It's TV Nation, DIY for fishing. Are you guys ready for Max Cringe? This is a 14 foot sea nymph. One of the first boats that I ever fabricated or modded. One of the ones that had really one of my earliest idea kits. This is before the Utilidec was even born. This is such an old build. It's like three years old. It's really, it's really out there. And it was really fun to build. This is where my brain started kind of like going off. And I know a lot of this might seem cringeworthy to you now, given where the Tiny Boat Nation has come, where small boat building, DIY boat building has came such a long way. But would you believe just a few years ago, stuff like this was the norm. Like, nobody was calling each other out, nobody was calling themselves out. I'll tell you though, when I built this thing, I was super proud of it. I was like, look at all this storage, look at all these things that none of these other boats have. I was, I really thought this boat was like the shit. <laughs> I thought it was all the business. I bragged about it. We even fished on it and had fun. It was actually a blast. There's a lot of fish put in this boat between myself and Ben, Ben by himself, Ben with Matt. You know, this is one of the boats that actually helped found the Tiny Boat Nation. It's pretty funny to think about it now, to watch it on its on its deal and watch it go and then how far we've come. But check this out. You like that, you'll love this. Dude, it's a million degrees. <laughs> but first, let's get a real quick follow-up on how Ben's new boat is doing since its debut. So how's the whole thing holding up? Awesome, dude. Okay. How, is, how is the stability? I mean, I can only imagine after standing on the, on the side of it, and you're not even really budging. How was it with two people? I know you took it out with Matt. Me and Matt went out and we killed it, man. We were walking on the sides, didn't even get in each other's way. We just walked down the sides or if we needed to switch. Yeah. Because we do this thing, um, you catch a fish, you move. <laughs> you back and forth so it's even. Everybody can catch a fish. Oh, so, so somebody's always taking the front? Yeah. So each turn, so somebody, so oh, so even the first nobody gets permanently backboated pretty much, yeah. right? Okay. Right on. That's a good deal. So yeah, we, we made it so like these, these sections, you could run your rods down that way, you can run his rods down this way. Was that working yes, pretty good? That was working awesome. Yeah. Yeah, trying to get a two-person angling platform that works good for both peoples. It's, it's what right. we do. It's what we do. So it's sweet. I love so this. So then, so stability, and you said it also does really good in the waves. Yes. Which I'm does. surprised because it's it's like... It's not a mod V, but it's a semi. It's kind of a pretty deep V, right? It's not. Yeah, it's not the I deepest like V though. Most of the boat is flat. And. Uh, but yeah, dude, and the we draft. Were going through monster waves, and I wasn't even getting like splash up on here. You weren't getting spared. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went through. I went through somewhat of a rough wave. When I crossed that guy's wake, when we were doing the initial video, but I didn't really. I didn't get much out of it. I mean, I didn't feel it like I thought I yeah. would. The boat didn't shudder. I tell you, poor phone. It's amazing shit. But yes. skinny, skinny water. Wait, is it, what does it sit in the water? Like four inches? Not even. Yeah, Maybe. man. Maybe. Yeah, stupid skinny. Did you, did you ever you ever measured against your yak? Boat is like more heavy. Yeah. So it's not going to get... Maybe. I haven't tried that out yet. It's something that's cool to try. But you said it gets pretty skinny. It, get, it does. It's surprising. Like, me and Matt were going on this flat, and the guys in the bass boats were, like, look, taking a second look to see how skinny it was. It was funny. It's, but, yeah, yeah. It's, if you can get back in some of those spots, you can win tournaments. You start fishing the oh, Wednesday nighters. Yeah, and then there's Thursday nighters. There's two clubs. Thursday now. nighters? Oh, man, there's clubs. Fishing clubs in Havasu. <laughs> how awesome. But, yeah. All right. I want to try this thing out one day, dude. Get We're going to mix and match whenever I put my 12 footer out. Yeah. It's going to be on. Because this thing is giant. Yeah, I don't know if is. the camera is getting how big this thing is, but it's freaking monstrous. <laughs> Fucking 14 foot yak. She's a beast. Are you guys ready for Max Cringe? All right, so the C Nymph. So I unlisted the videos for these. Just took them from public to unlisted. Because we're going to retire this boat. Not completely. We're going to take the boat and redo it and give it away to Stevie. A uh, young little gentleman who friggin' slays fish. We're going to give it to him. It's going to be awesome. Just wait for it. Redo the transom. Redo all this BS. Redo this. 
This transom will have to go undergo a third redoing. How did this hold up? It held up pretty good, actually. That's a solid piece of, it's still good. of yeah. like, that's a two by two by ten or two by eight or something we cut in there. But that's gonna go. We're gonna stick a Kusa a Kusa transom into that for sure. We're going to we're just gonna do a lot of things. This one I also kept all the bench seats in. You can't tell though. But all the bench seats are in here. I mean, you can tell that one, obviously. Is, <laughs> but the rest of it, you can't tell. So let's let's go ahead and let's open this thing up. By the way, this carpet is black because it's burnt and singed by the sun, right? That's what cars yeah. is this? this is what it's legit burnt. Cover your boats. Yeah, even it. you did have it covered out here. The sun still burnt it. Remember, I came over and asked you why well, it's it still burnt. Worse because it's been bitten, burnt. <laughs> yeah, but my phone's like hot and overheating right now. It's gonna glitch out. Watch. All right, let's check this out before my phone dies. This damn heat wave. All right. Let me see what kind of shit I did back in the day. Oh, there's your, that's where you had your battery? Yeah. Look at that. Like, top-notch mods right here, man. This is a 2x6. Two, two giant pine 2x6s down the freaking slat of the, of, the, uh, of the benches. That's, like, super heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And here's my my hinge jobs. How do you like that? I like those hinge jobs. Oh yeah. Look at that. I mean the wood kind of other than the fact that it's buckling to shit. Held up pretty good, huh? Yeah, it did. And then you went open this way. I don't know what you're doing here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I do what I do. Oh that so that was like the pit stove, huh? That's sweet. And you got all kinds of crap there. You got like rods down there? Oh no, that's wiring. Oh, that is a rod. No, that was the fish. Remember, that was the fish, the the line back from the motor. Or from oh, so you fished the rod back in there, and then yeah. you just got it stuck in there? Yeah. And then it, so it's just like been stuck down there the whole time? Yeah. That's hilarious. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the struts survived, right? That's the only strut yeah. that survived. It's about to go. Remember, we took two off it, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at my tube job. It's horrendous. I actually was like proud of this. I thought this was a great idea when I did it. I was like, yeah, it's so good. It's funny. I mean, some of it's still kind of nifty. Yeah. Musto. Musto. Yeah, OSB. I mean, it was kind of cool for what I did with it. It was pretty cool. <laughs> okay, back to filming. So here, I don't know what that was for. It was for a trolling monitor. Oh. And then this latch broke. And the strut broke. And my hinge job. And then... Oh man, look at all that. Yeah, that started going, huh? That started rotting right there. Yeah. There's not a real thick coat of wood in here. You see how we bled through and then we didn't do too many good coats on this one? Like I may have ran out of paint or something. So I wonder if it... Yeah, well anyways, yeah, I did catch it there. And then, but the pit was huge. I remember my daughter fit in here and like hid. And I couldn't find her one day. I was real pissed. But yeah, but we did all kinds of pine framing underneath. It's and this heavy. this boat is heavy as shit. <laughs> it's deceivingly heavy. Like it's grossly heavy. What we do to it next. But the funny thing is the thing still flew. With that little Yamaha 15 he had in the back of his yeah, Alubacraft. Him and I, we freaking, we freaking flew. And he used to, him and Matt used to go and jam. But the boat is heavy. Should we try to pull it out right now? It was terrible. Like two of us had to pull it. So this, that means the wood saturated and rotted. The deck is gone. I love that thing. That was my favorite thing. Yeah, look at all that. I was super proud of all this. I was like, yeah, all my stuff's better than everybody's. It was funny. It was funny. You still got baits in here. Dude, let me use these for uh, my A-rigs. <laughs> and this was where we put the electric stuff, huh? Here's where you got the switches before we gutted them out. Oh, there it is. Look at my sweet electric job. <laughs> it's the best electric job ever. Hell yeah. All right. I don't think my stomach can take much more of this. So I'm going to turn it off. This also happened. So we were potentially going to take it. Doesn't that just screw back on there? It's completely stripped out. Oh yeah, it's stripped out. Oh yeah, dude. It ripped it off. That's because Ben would do would put on the crank when the crank was actually on there. He would like over crank it. 
You're not doing that to the to Limograft, are you? You, don't, you won't want I that learned. to happen. You learned, okay.